Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today is October 9th. I think I said it was the 8th in that other video I just did. It's the 9th because it's Saturday. Anyways, my town's having a party today. Uh, it's called the it's called um, Liberty Square because that's what the square around our courthouse is called. But it's a celebration for um, Lester Flat, which was a bluegrass mu mu musician, almost a magician, <laughs> um, who was from here. Anyways, he got, he got pretty famous in the blue cr bluegrass slash country scene. But uh, anyways, they do it every year and it's like a vendor event and then uh, they play bluegrass all day and there's a car show. Just, you know, southern, the things that we southern towns do <laughs> all the time. But also they do fireworks. So tonight me and Jesse will get to go out on the back porch and see fireworks because we live in town. But uh, we don't live super close to the courthouse. I mean, it's miles away, but we just have perfect vision <laughs> when they do the firework displays we can see it uh from our back porch which is really cool so uh i don't think it's supposed to rain later which is good so me and him will go out there and watch it De devin does have to work tonight which sucks but um maybe all right we'll still have fun <laughs> and uh i got a big old bag of popcorn from sam's club it is cheese and caramel mix it's called chicago mix or something isn't it i think i don't know but we haven't opened it yet we need to open it and I thought me and Jesse might watch a movie later and eat some of that <laughs> and then watch fireworks. That'd be fun. But uh, yeah, so he's napping right now. Jesse is. He fell asleep on the couch. I took a little clip of it because it's so cute. Um, he hasn't fallen asleep with that since he was a little. And it's because he's been up since almost 3 a.m. His schedule is all messed up from being sick. So I got to work on that, getting him back on his schedule. But luckily I have over a week to do it. So he's snoozing right now. And I'll wake him up in like an hour or so. I'll let him get a little bit of sleep. And then try to get him on his regular schedule for bed tonight um give him a good bath and then read a book like we always do you know <laughs> and um get him in bed because he needs to get back on schedule but yeah so i'm sitting here i was gonna sew today but I'm, not, I'm just really tired from the last few days that i think i'm just gonna wait till tomorrow to do some more sewing which is fine i'm pretty much drawstring bags are really easy to make so it doesn't take i only have a little bit more sewing to do to finish these up the most annoying part is getting the drawstrings run through it, which takes a while. And then like the photos and making the listings and all that is annoying because <laughs> it takes time. But uh, I'll get it figured out. The shop update will be Tuesday, Wednesday. I'm not rushing it, just one of those days. <laughs> I'll announce it before it uh, goes up. But yeah, I'm gonna get my bag and open it real quick for today so that I already have it done. And I can also crochet on my blanket later. I made this star this morning, I mean this square for Peter Pan <laughs> for a moving stitch square or blanket. Oh, what am I trying to say? I'm all confused. <laughs> but uh, so I'm, I'm getting there. I have 10 more squares to make Q through Z and then they'll be done. And then I have to put them all together and make a border and then line it. I'm going to line it with flannel or fleece. I haven't decided yet. Probably uh, flannel because it's lighter. And uh, that's the back of that. <laughs> um, and uh, make it a nice cozy movie blanket to put in our living room for when we watch movies. But yeah, so I'm gonna grab my bag and open it real quick. Today's day nine. black with like uh me me what am I saying? metallic like shimmer through it Ooh. and goodie bag <laughs> I got a little hoard of candy over there I've been picking at it I used to love when I was a kid and trigger treated well I trigger treated up until I was almost 20 <laughs> I mean, I was technically, I still trigger treat. I trigger treat with Jesse. But the people who give out these little bags of stuff are always the best, you know? That's like the most exciting to get the little bag with different stuff in it. I want to be those people when we grow up. <laughs> when we grow up. When our kids grow up. Because, you know, up, up until the kids grow up, we're going to be taking them out on Halloween. But once they're old and, old, you know, teenagers and doing their own things, uh, then we can stay home and get out candy. Right now, I just leave a bowl sitting outside for the neighborhood kids. So we got Skittles. Another one of these lifesaver gummies, which I love. I love the hard lifesavers, the little gummies. I got some in the kitchen, and I love these ones. So good. Uh, hard lifesavers. A pineapple hard candy. And then there's 
uh, I lit the black flame candle from Hocus Pocus. I think I sent her one of these, a sticker just like this one, but it's different. Like it says the same thing, but it's different. And then book. And there's a little button. This is so cute. A little spider on a spider web. And it is actually a button. That is cute. I can't wait to use that. I got all my little goodies over too. I'm just kind of, I'm putting them in one of these bags until I uh, get done open them all and then I'll figure out what I'm going to do with them from there. But yes, that's my goodies for today. Woohoo, I'm excited. So I'm going to put this in my uh, blanket. This here, nine, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. There's five more scrap balls from her that are going to my blanket and then I'll just start pulling um, scrap balls out of my scrap bucket that are similar colors. I'm going to have Devin help me like choose, like have him. Tell him, you know, show him the blanket and the color scheme, which is Halloween colors. And then um, have him randomly pick out some for me for the rest of through Halloween, maybe. Or up until the blanket's the size I want it. I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to make it. Jesse already wants the blanket. He's already claimed it. <laughs> which, uh, I'll let him use it, of course. But it's going to be going into my Halloween box every year to pull out for Halloween. He's using one of my Halloween blankets right now because he's asleep on the couch. And his blanket that he uses most of the time, his, like, um... Like a special blanket that he's used ever since he was a baby. Had got ketchup on it today, so I gotta wash it later. But um, I'll deal with that later. I'm not worried about it. But yeah, so that is my scrap ball for today. So cute. I want to do one for Christmas too. I don't know if I'm gonna ask someone to do it with me or if I'm just gonna have like Devin maybe <laughs> um, pick out some scrap balls from my scrap ball bucket. It's a tote bag or tote, uh, <laughs> like a plastic tote. Um, I need to use those up. It's kind of full. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I'm always making scrap balls with using, with using uh, yarn, you know. But, yeah. Anyways, that's the update for now. <laughs> I, I cooked Jesse some food this morning. He asked, he was, I was asking him what he wanted to eat because he was feeling better. Devin made him chicken nuggets way earlier this morning because he was still up with him. I got to go back to bed. <laughs> but, um, then he said he was hungry again. So, I was going through the list of things we have and he wanted bacon and pancakes. So I made bacon and pancakes and he ate a lot of it. He ate some bacon and a lot of his pancake. So he's doing a little better. <laughs> he's definitely eating, which is good. And he's staying hydrated. We're making sure of that. Because that's one thing we were worried about is him getting dehydrated uh, and having to go to the hospital. And around here, none of our local hospitals treat kids. So we'd have to drive all the way to Nashville, which is uh, like an hour and a half away. That's what we had to do when he broke his arm. <laughs> and um, that sucks having to go all the way because that's the only place that's got children's hospitals close to us. Chattanooga has Children's Hospital, but it's, I think it's specialized in trauma. It's like, like car wrecks and stuff. And it's about an hour and a half away. And then Knoxville is like two hours away from us. And it has Children's Hospital. But all the hospitals local to us, um, they'll treat children in emergencies, but then they'll transport them to those other hospitals. And um, like when Jesse broke his arm, we took him to our local hospital. And they tr they did x-rays and stuff there and they splinted it. And then they, they said, well, we got we gotta take him to Nashville in ambulance. And I didn't wanna do that because ambulance rides are super expensive. <laughs> so uh, we asked if we could just drive him there and they said it was fine. So we had to drive him all the way to Nashville that day. And we were there all day while they fixed his arm and stuff. So it's a pain in the butt living out here what we do. We live out pretty much in the middle of nowhere. And uh, all of our towns are just so small, you know, they don't have all the equipment that, that we need. Like my local hospital right here, that's right down the road, <laughs> doesn't uh, do anything for pregnant women. If, like if I have an emergency and have to go there, they're just going to put me in an ambulance and send me to the town next to us that has a uh, labor and delivery unit. But even they don't have a NICU. If something happens to the baby that needs a NICU, they'll have to ship it to Chattanooga. <laughs> so it's just it's a hassle living out in the middle of nowhere. But um, yeah, I know that there, there's helicopters that can get the, us there quickly if, if that has, has to happen. But hopefully that doesn't have to happen. <laughs> Anyways, I'm blabbing now. I'm going to put my glasses back on so I can see better. And I'm going to go... I picked up the living room a little bit and I need to wake Devin up and I need to start a load of laundry because his little blanket is dirty and he uses it every single day. So I need to get it washed. Laundry, laundry, laundry all the time. It's just three people here. <laughs> I told Devin next year we're going to be crazy with laundry because the baby with a, you know, spit up and everything, clothes is going to be piling up laundry like crazy. But yeah, anyways, I'm going to hop off here and I'll check up with you guys throughout the day. Hopefully, if I remember. It's already the afternoon though. It's like after one. <laughs> I'll check up with you later for sure. There goes the head of death. 
I worked on my call the midwife blanket today. I added this whole section from here all the way up to here. So I added a whole section of the multicolor and I started the pink again. So there it is so far. It's looking cute. I messed up right here and I didn't catch it until I was already up here. And I didn't want to go back and fix it. It's supposed to be a chain three hole like this one. But I only chained one. So I just increased <laughs> and went on with my life. Because uh, life's too short to rip out crochet. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it still looks good and I can't wait to see it finished. It's going to be so cute. Now I'm going to put my scrap ball into my spider blanket. Oh, there's something on the floor. Okay, I thought that was a spider. I think it's just fuzz. It's probably yeah. string. <laughs> but um, yeah, we watched fireworks outside and now Jesse's in the bath. I already washed them off and everything, so now he's just playing. We played some Mario Karts on the Switch. So I'm gonna crochet and watch some videos and relax.